Hey YouTube, this is Tom at TM Aquatics. Hope everyone's having a great day. Today is an exciting day for me. I'm receiving a shipment of fish. These fish are coming from Dan's Fish. We have a couple new groups of plecos coming in. Actually, one is a new species to the fish room. The other is just a, a group that's gonna be added to an existing group that I already have here in the fish room. But these are gonna be small fish. They need a little bit of time to grow out. My plans are to put them in this new 40 breeder here. Uh, I need to do some rearranging. I need to get some caves in there, some rock work, some areas for these things to hide and feel secure. I have a pair of bushy nose plecos in there that I want to remove. So we need to get busy, get this tank ready before those new fish show up. Hope you stick around and check this one out. They're here. All right, YouTube, here's what I did. This is just a temporary basis right now. Um, I have a bunch of new pleco caves and fry hideouts and things like that on their way. Uh, they were supposed to deliver a day or so ago. Um, they actually got misrouted. They're gonna be delivered tomorrow. So this is just a temporary thing until um, I can get those new pleco caves and fry hides. Now, when I removed the bushy nose plecos, uh, there were some fry in the cave, and I think there's like five, maybe six around here somewhere. They're still small, they still have their yolk sac. I just decided to dump the cave in this, um, there's one right there. It's still very, very small. I decided just to dump the fry out into this tank. Now, as they put on some size, I'll definitely remove them when they're about an inch because the bushy nose plecos are gonna be a lot more of an aggressive feeder than the fish that are going in here, and they'll probably outcompete the other fish for a lot of the food that gets in here. Uh, so I don't want them in here uh, once they put on a little bit of size, but I figure since they still had their yolk sack, I could just dump them out in here for, uh, for a couple of weeks and then, um, then worry about it at that point. But uh, all this is just a, a, a quick setup, just a few pleco caves and then a couple of hides, a couple pieces of slate, some small crevices here for them to get into and feel secure. Again, this is just temporary and uh, this tank will look completely different in uh, just a matter of a few days. But anyways, good enough. Let's go ahead, crack into that box and check out the fish because they have arrived. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look. L471 mini snowball pleco. Good shape. All right, YouTube, I have the first group of fish over here in this uh, basket. There's 12 of them in this group. These are the L471 Mini Snowball Plecos. They're a small uh, black with white spot high pan cistrus. They all came in in great condition. Um, there was one that had uh, quite a bit of poo in the bag, um, but still looks like it's in good shape, so no, no issues. Uh, you don't see these L471s in the hobby very often. Uh, a lot of people don't bring them in. They often get misidentified by the collectors. They don't know the difference between these fish and small juveniles of other uh, black and white spotted uh, high pan cistrus found in the same water. So you don't really see these often. Um, these particular fish are captive bred, so we know that the source is good. Um, Dan was able to confirm with the breeder and, or the importer or exporter um, that these are indeed true 471s. And because they're captive bred, 
and the breeder would have access to the parents, of course. Um, uh, just gave me the peace of mind knowing that these are the real deal 471s and not just mislabeled uh, small L201s or contradents. So anyways, really excited to have these L471s. We've got a total of 12 of these. Let's go ahead and uh, drop them in the um, tank. Oh, I do wanna, I do wanna therm these guys real quick. 75 of course that's probably picking up the temperature of the the bag and not necessarily the water but still uh, bags feel good the heat packs uh, are both still kicking off some heat but let's go ahead drop these in the tank we have the tank temperature set at 82 degrees um, we're gonna go ahead and start floating these guys and then uh, come back over and I'll show you the other six fish that are still in the box All right, these next six fish are a species that I already have in the fish room. I currently have six of these in the fish room, but I wanted to get more because these do not show up in the hobby frequently at all. I mean, this is um, a rare fish. There's not a lot of them being um, made available to the hobby. And um, this is the L4 set or L174. These have some really nice size on them compared to the ones I already have. Oh, that's beautiful. But these come out of the Rio Xingu uh, River system. Their habitat is uh, in danger due to all the damming and um, uh, the habitat destruction that's occurring down there in the river system. They come out of a deeper water. Uh, I believe they're found in like three different deep water pools. And because they're so small and they're found in deeper waters, they're just, they were never really collected a lot. And really the only fish that are going to be available are those that are going to be captive bred. But this is a rare one, the L174. One. There's two. All of them are in great condition and again these six I'm gonna put these in the 40 breeder with the L 471s and eventually one of those species will be moved to its own 40 breeder and then I will be adding my existing six L 174s to the six new L 174s that I just picked up so we'll have a total of 12 L 174s All right, YouTube, there we go. We have 18 bags floating right now, 12 L471s in the fish room, six new L174s uh, that will eventually be combined with my existing group of six L174s. I gotta say though, the 174s that Dan sent me are, they have a nice size, and I hope I don't regret not buying more when they were available because they are already sold out at Dan's Fish. He does still have more L471s available, so if you want some of these beautiful little high pans, go get yourself some before they sell out as well. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and let these things temp acclimate for 30 to 45 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and get them in the tank. I'll be putting all 18 fish into this 40 breeder. Eventually, I'll be taking one of the groups out and moving them down into this tank where I currently am housing a couple groups of Corydoras, Duplicarius, and Orange Lasers are in there. I'll be uh, relocating and doing some uh, shuffling around here in the fish room. This will also be a, a Pleco tank here for either the 471s or 174s, but we're gonna go ahead, cut the lights off here in the fish room, let these guys settle down. Then we'll go ahead, uh, get the bags open, get them in this tank, and then wrap this video up. All right, YouTube, so it's actually been about four hours since I put the fish in the tank. Um, I believe everybody is still doing well. There was only one fish that came out of the bags, a little rough, one of the L471s. Um, wasn't moving too much in a shipping bag and uh, floated down to the substrate on his back actually. Um, he did right himself once he got to the uh, substrate. Uh, sat in one place for a few minutes but then he uh, darted over to one of the sponge filters and uh, I don't see any 
bodies or dead fish, so I'm assuming that he is doing okay. There's a couple of the L174s down in there. One of the mini snowballs you can see back there as well. There's one of the L471s on the end of the, uh, the heater there. Absolutely stunning, beautiful fish. I, I really like the L174s. They are uh, bigger than the ones I picked up earlier this year, and they just look absolutely amazing. And there's the tail of another one back there on the sponge filter. But believe it or not, there's 18 fish in this tank. But I believe everybody's doing well. So um, hopefully those new caves will show up here in the next day or two. We'll be able to do a little more uh, rearranging and add a few more hides to this tank for these guys. But uh, looks like it was a successful shipment, and I'm super excited to have these fish here in the fish room. All right, YouTube, well, there you go. We have 12 new L471s here in the fish room at TM Aquatics, along with six new L174s, and I couldn't be more excited. Now, again, these fish came from Dan's Fish. I just wanna say thank you to Dan and his team for making this such a positive buying experience. If you're looking for some rare or difficult to find Cory Doris and Pleco, something a little different, check out Dan's Fish at dancefish.com. I also want to say thank you to Craig and Olivia from Olivia and Dad's Fish Room. They're on Facebook. They also have a YouTube channel. And hopefully I'll remember to drop the link down below. But they provided some pictures of the 174s, which I shared here in this video. So Craig, Olivia, thank you very much. And I am your biggest fan. But anyways, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you stopping by, taking time out of your day to watch one of my videos. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them down below. Hit the like button on your way out. If you feel inclined, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can follow along the TM Aquatics journey. Anyways, thanks again for your time, and until the next one, we'll catch you all later.